Disclaimer and disclosure. I do not represent nor associate with an organization or department. This is solely my opinion and my experience from my time traveling. I wanted to start a series on travel safety tips while traveling abroad, and I believe it can help some people have fun while being safe being out the country. Here are five reasons why I believe I'm qualified to help people stay safe. Number one, I have nine years of experience in training in law enforcement. I'm no longer in law enforcement, but it has helped me a lot while traveling. And during that time, it has heightened a lot of my skills when it comes to critical thinking, communication, uh, problem solving, situational awareness, um, and just being aware of your surroundings. So with that law enforcement experience, I would say that I do look at things a lot different than the average person, and that can help and give people tips on being safe while traveling. Number two, I was in the military for almost five years. I've been to a war zone a few times, and with that experience, it also has helped me a lot. Anywhere from situational awareness or adapting to your environment and just being the worst around us. Number three, I've been to about 20, 25 countries. As you can see, or well, you can't see all the pictures, but with that, I would say every country is different, but there might be some similarities in Central America with surrounded countries, but you can have a country right next to each other and it can be a day and night difference. So uh, I've been to Central America, I've been to Africa, I've been to Europe, I've been to the Middle East, I've been to Asia. So when I'm giving some safety tips, it will be based off my experience in that country or that region. Number four, I've been traveling for over 15 years. Within that 15 years, I've seen a lot and I've seen things change. So me traveling to a country 15 years ago, it's a different experience today. So I will give some tips on my recent experience, but I will also mention things that I experienced 10, 15 years ago. I've seen a lot change, good and bad in some places, but for the most part, it's been a lot of good changes. So I'm not a new traveler. I've been doing this for a while, and I feel that is a big reason why I can help people be safe as well. Number five. I lived in the Middle East for about four years. And with that, I learned a lot. Respecting people's country, respecting their culture, seeing how they live, and being able to adapt to their living. And that time living out the country, a lot of people have an experience. And I noticed that I view the world a lot different now that I had that experience being able to live out the country. And I was young. I was in my early 20s. So along with those top five, I was born and raised in Chicago. So if you don't know about Chicago, then, you know, it takes a lot to get out of Chicago. And just as a child, I started early. So I also believe growing up in Chicago has helped me with... Uh, trying to be safe. I would say I, I am a safe person. I do everything I can to be safe. But there are times where, you know, you're vulnerable and you do things where you think about it and you be like, man, maybe I shouldn't have done that. And I've had a lot of those experiences where it was in a country I, I shouldn't have been out doing a certain time. And then once I figured that out, it was kind of too late. So I'm trying to hurry up and get back to the room or maybe jumping in a taxi where it might have been sketchy and I probably shouldn't have. So I have a lot of experience. I have a lot of stories to talk about. Good and bad stories. Uh, some bad. I've been robbed. Yes. Uh, probably about, yeah, about 12 years ago in the country. It wasn't that bad, but I will talk about it. Uh, I've seen a jail cell in another country. It was not fun. So. I will talk about what happened. I will tell you what went down, the situation, and other things that you might not experience or you've heard about. And I would just say, 
I would give advice on how to go about it. This isn't to replace the travel advisories. This isn't to say, you know, the travel advisories has all the answers. I don't have all the answers. So this is a disclaimer. I am not here to replace anything or saying, hey, Muhammad gave me these travel travel safety tips. So no, I, I'm giving suggestions to help you be safe while traveling. And this is based off my experience, good and bad. And I made some, I've done some things that I, I look back at to where I'm like, ah, maybe that was stupid or I should have done that. So if I can help others, I'm happy. And I've seen things where tourists, they call them expats, Americans, Europeans, Canadians, wherever you're from, you're an expat if you're in someone else's country. And I've seen some stuff where I'm like, oh my God, this is why. And I would just sit back and I observe. I, I do a lot of observing. And I see some situations where I'm like, okay, well, maybe if he knew, would he have done that? Or if he watched a video on safety tips in Central America, would that have helped him avoid a situation? So uh, no one's prone to, to violence or, or crime. But Spending all these years in law enforcement, I, I I got an understanding of you can prevent some things. You can't prevent it 100%, but you can lower your chances from being a victim. And, you know, that's even here in America. You know, there's some cities where you just, you, they're dangerous. So I'll hear people say, oh, well, you going to that country, it's so dangerous. Well there's some cities here in America that's probably just as dangerous. So I visited some places where it is considered dangerous, but at 6, 7 p.m. when the sun's down, I'm in the house. I'm, I'm not I'm not going to L.A. and Chicago and, and some areas I shouldn't be in at night hanging out, and this isn't my hood. So it's it's kind of some common sense. I've seen some people want to go see ghettos and want to see hoods. You have to respect these people. I'm sorry. You were going to third world countries where it might be a paradise visit for us. It's the total opposite for them. They're in poverty. They're they're not making anything. So one big thing I, I, I talk about a lot is respecting people's country. And I've seen a lot of people traveling over the years where they have their American ways and they're not good in another country. And it shows. And I will give some stories on that. It's not some sad stories, some bad stories. Um, so stay tuned. I'm going to start the series. I have already 10, 15 topics. So I will start producing the videos for them. So I'm excited about them, actually. And this is going to be outside of me traveling to other countries. I enjoy. I want people to be safe. I want people to see the world. And you might think somewhere is dangerous, but if I've been there, I will speak on it. And there is a place right now where I've been three or four times and I don't think I'll be going back. But you never know. I might take a trip there. Stay tuned.